So let me finish my story about the asshole redneck. My batteries ran out. The asshole redneck in Colorado, Colorado, who was from, uh, I never say Colorado, I say Colorado. And I'm really pissing myself for saying that. Maybe not that mad, you know, but, uh, yeah, so he's like holding a buck knife, walking to the restroom, because I went around him really fast, because he cut me off, purposely saw me there, or probably didn't see me, but he should have, because he looked right at me, and he's like, you best not be going to the bathroom, boy, or something like that. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, you short little fat fucking redneck? Just wanted to slam his fucking head in. You see, but he has this big buck knife on his side, and I wasn't planning on going to the restroom anyways. We were both heading that way, but I was planning on getting some water, because I was thirsty as hell. And, uh, so I kind of felt like a coward, because I should have gone to the bathroom and been like, oh yeah, what are you going to do about it, fuck face? And if you pulled the knife on me, kicked him or something. Short little fucking puke. Straight up deliverance redneck giving me shit. Which was funny, because the last part of this video, I wasn't planning on making it a part tour, but now I am. Because I got cut off and the continuity of the situation. Uh, where was I going? Oh, yeah, as I'm making my first part, dumbass rednecks come down the street and yelling at me out of their truck. <gasps> just want to fucking blow these people's heads off, seriously. I'm so sick of fucking cretins and fucking scumbags. Like in this town, there's garbage littered up and down the road in parts from these scumbag young kids that live around here. They just let their shit go all over. They don't even care. Douchebags drive around big trucks or macho hot rod cars or cars that are set up like the Fast and the Furious, trying to act like they're badasses, gangsters, wearing overdone hoodies all the time that are way too huge. It's fucking stupid. And they're not called hoodies either. They're called sweatshirts, assholes. They always were. I'm not going with the trend. These. This is not a beanie. This is a stocking cap. Got it? Allegedly. Your little hip-hop trends and all your fucking trends you're using are the same trends as as uh, as the mass media uses with words like alleged, but I digress, and all that crap. Trendy fucking sheep. Yes, yeah, so I went into this one store today looking for a phone piece, and this goddamn cup redneck family got right in front of me. They just moseyed on, didn't even see me. I, I, my first thought was I better get around these people quick. Because usually people are so slow and they meander and have their thumbs in their ass, picking their noses. Sure enough, I didn't go around fast enough. They got in front of me and they're just moseying around. Oh, goddamn, Sheila. You see that movie right there? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And fuck it. And then, uh, so I have to go around them and then I go around them again and I go to the other side. I'm looking at the piece for the phone that I need. And they're right fucking there again in my way. So I leave that store and I go to McDonald's. The same thing happens. Old old lady gets in front of me with her with her middle-aged daughter and their grandkids, old Latino woman, and I'm like I fucked gotta get around him, but I couldn't get around without coming across as a maniac because I just squeezed through garbage cans and I would have had to bump them. So they get in line, and I literally have to wait there like 15 minutes to order my dollar cup of coffee with two creams because this old lady orders after her daughter and their grandkids, and she's doing the old one coin of the thing out of the purse thing. 27, 28, 20, fucking 9. Did you notice I had an extra one in there that would make it 30? It's fucking, I just lose hope for humanity, even, even supposed intelligent people. Because people are so unobservational. It seems like almost like having observational skills and, and, and uh, not interpretation, uh, uh, anticipational skills of where observation and anticipation seem almost more important than intelligence to me. It's like, and common courtesy, you mix those three together. Observation, anticipation, and courtesy to your fellow human beings or fellow living creatures or whatever. <sighs> Hands are getting cold out here, it's pretty chilly. People aren't though, they're just fucking in their own world. I mean, just like I am right now, my own world, making my own little masturbatory, self-indulgent, me, me, me story video here. That's really how it is. And, and then people think they're not in their own world. Even people that are like in relationships, but they're really in their own world. Even people with kids. 
give you love. You're still in your own world. It's just how those people are making you feel. So you think when, you're, when your relationship is going good, when you're getting along, it's a good relationship. When it's going bad, it's making you feel bad. So it must not be a, it's a bad relationship then. There's something wrong with it because it's not making you feel good. See what I'm saying? Basically, I'm saying we're all self-centered, self-indulgent creatures on some weird survival level here. And I wish, as a whole, maybe more people realized that so we would treat everybody in our own personal capsules a little better when we bump into capsules to other capsules. Other, other podular, charged, energy, secular, secoid m movings about on this, on this spaceship Earth and this one galaxy here amongst many universes and whatever, which would obviously mean there has to be some kind of reason for that or something that's bigger than what we think. Now, I'm not talking about religion or philosophy or science now. I'm talking about there really has to be some fact that there's something else than this. Because if this is all there is, that's a little depressing. Not the death part. The death part isn't depressing if this is all there is. Because death gets a bad rap. Death is, is a conceptual thing in the human mind. And the closest we can come to it is blackness. Or gray or nothingness. Which we can't even conceive of nothing because it's out of our spectrum of reality. There is no... We, the closest we can get to conceiving of nothingness is black. That's a color. That's not That's not a nothing, that's something. Hell, nothing is on the yin-yang, positive, negative, same comparison, charge, back and forth, black and white type of thing, you know what I mean? Nothing doesn't exist without something. And something doesn't exist without nothing. So therefore, that's part of that whole yin-yang thing, or is the Chi, tai Chi practitioners like to say, Crane, uh, Yin Yang. Something's wrong with my Yin Yang. Look at that, assholes. God, my fingertips are getting cold. Ah, nothing like a swimming pool. I hear a uh, hawk. I hear a hawk in my cock. I got a hawk in my cock. I'm just kidding, okay? Got a big tattoo of a hawk on my cock. Is that an owl or a hawk? Oh yeah, you can't see it from this tree. But there's a hawk. Let's go advance up here and see if we can get some action from this hawk. Oh, it's, 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 I have, oh. I don't think I get on camera. Yeah. Saw me coming and got aggravated. It was just like me at the store. He's like, can this guy get off my face? So I can think. Doesn't he have respect for his fellow creatures on the earth and their podule sacks moving about one another? Oh, you gotta watch out for dog shit, too. Because dog owners like to leave their dog shit everywhere. Because their precious little animals can do whatever they want. Dog owners. <laughs> the most latent wannabe children owners on the planet. Training wheels for kids. That's why cats I like better, personally. They're independent. A cat will be like, fuck you, I'm doing my own thing. Or come and say, hey, how's it going? I'm actually kind of kidding. Well, there is some truth to that. But some cats are assholes. And some dogs are assholes. And some dogs are really nice. Some dogs are, like, so smart, they're like people. And some cats are so smart, they're like people. <sighs> Frozen water. I walk in job interviews. Can I get an application? 